Welcome to the Marmalade Hub. This video will introduce existing Marmalade users to the new tools provided with Marmalade 7. The Hub is a new tool that combines all the different products and tools that make up the Marmalade SDK into a single, easy-to-use interface. At the top are buttons for the different products. Marmalade C++, Marmalade Quick for Lua development, and Web Marmalade for HTML5 and JavaScript. At the bottom right is a window for managing licenses. Previously, developers would have to visit the website to release a license and use the separate S3e config tool to set licenses. With the Hub, licenses can be managed directly, releasing existing licenses and consume them again with a single button press. On the left are options for global configuration and the additional tools that ship with the SDK. For example, 3D package exporters for Marmalade Studio and the tools for building fonts and re-signing iOS applications. At the top, an important new option is the Dependency Checker. The Dependency Checker is a way to make sure that everything required to develop with Marmalade for your chosen platforms has been set up correctly. To use Marmalade for C++, an IDE is required. On this Windows PC, Visual Studio Express 2010 is installed. For Windows Phone 8 C++ development, an additional IDE, in this case, Visual Studio Express 2012 for Windows Phone, is selected. Previous versions of the Marmalade SDK required switching manually between different IDE versions for deploying to Windows Phone 8 versus other platforms. Marmalade 7 automatically switches based on the platform being deployed to. Below are the RVCT compiler options. By default, Marmalade will use the GCC compiler, which ships with the SDK, but you can also use the RVCT compiler. Next are the options for iOS and Android. For iOS, there are options to set the signing certificates, and on the right for Android, the important option is to ensure the Java JDK is present. Choose the correct JDK by selecting the Browse button. At the top right, there are some additional options. Click the Expand button to expand to full screen for easier viewing. The Target button controls which platforms are displayed throughout the Hub. Platforms listed in the left-hand side will appear as options throughout the Hub, and those on the right-hand side will be hidden by default to avoid clutter within the Hub project screens. Platforms can be moved between the lists by highlighting them and selecting the arrow button. Select Save to keep the changes. At the top is the navigation bar. This is present throughout the Hub. Selecting the Home button will return to the Hub front page. Click the C++ button to select Marmalade C++. The splash screen provides quick access to the starter tutorial, examples, and documentation. The next screen is the Marmalade project view. On the left is the list of all the projects. At the bottom are options for creating new projects and importing projects from existing MKB files. There is also direct access to Marmalade documentation and the tutorials and example code that is provided with the SDK. The example screen displays a list of all the different examples and tutorials provided with the Marmalade SDK. With Marmalade 7, there's a brand new example game in both C++ and Lua, and it comes in various stages for different parts of the tutorial. Select a project to view the overview information and options to open the project or launch in the simulator. Launch in the simulator provides the ability to run a project directly in the simulator without first opening the project in an IDE. Select the Launch Simulator button and Marmalade Hub will check if there's an existing x86 build of the application. If not, it will build it and then run it with the simulator. The game is now running in the familiar Marmalade Simulator, which makes it easy to test the application and view the debugging information in the background. Selecting Open as Project on an example will add it to the project list, making it easy to access in future. Selecting the Open Project button on a project from the list will open it in the project view. This is a completely new interface that combines various parts from previous versions of the Marmalade SDK. 
It allows developers to build and deploy. It replaces the deploy tool and provides access to the project, making it easy to work with projects without working directly from Finder or Explorer. From using the launch and simulator feature earlier in this video, an x86 build of this application has already been created, so there's no need to build it again. Selecting Run here will launch the simulator directly. Alternatively, select Open in IDE to open the project with Visual Studio Express 2010, which is the default IDE as set previously in the dependency checker. In Visual Studio, the Marmalade System APIs appear on the left as usual, with the application code at the bottom. It's easy to add breakpoints and step through. As in previous versions of Marmalade, it's also very easy to build for different architectures from within Visual Studio, and it's also possible to launch the legacy deploy tool if required. Marmalade 7 still supports the legacy tools from Marmalade 6.4, including the MKB deployment options and the legacy deploy tool. Select GCC Debug and press F7 to build. This will build an ARM version of the application, which can then be deployed to Android or other ARM platforms from the IDE. The application has now built. Time to switch back to the hub to create an application package. Select any ARM platform, for example Android, from the platform list and notice that the GCC ARM build is selected. It is possible to build again from the hub. Alternatively, from the More drop-down, open the project directory, select the dependency checker to make any changes, or access the online help and documentation. Next topic is configurations. Rather than using the MKB deployment options as in previous versions, Marmalade 7 introduces the configurations functionality within the hub. These use the new XML-based format internally, but have the same settings as the old MKB files. Configurations are selected on the left-hand side. For example, there is a default one for Android to start with. Selecting Edit will open the option settings screens. These are now split into Basic, Advanced, and Project. Basic and Advanced are platform-dependent, whereas Project are cross-platform options similar to the MKB generic configurations used previously. The default configurations are designed to make it very easy to get an application up and running on a device. Select the Package Only button to create an APK package. Then select the folder icon to open the project folder. Alternatively, select Package Install and Run to create the package, install it on a connected Android device, and launch the app. The build options allow developers to switch between debug and release versions of both an app and the loader, as well as switching between GCC and RVCT if the latter is installed. On the right, here's a new set of log windows, which shows the summary report of what's going on and options to turn warnings and errors on and off. Select the full log tab to view full log of all the build and error information.